it stretched creative muscles I have yeah. never had to stretch before or since and I would I would do it in a second again even though there was a lot of angst and fraughtness to go with it and that's like usually the thing about life right it's the things that make us struggle and push our limits and boundaries are often the most internally rewarding and satisfying right yeah. it may not make the most money but it's and it may be ugly as sin when it, it finally could, makes could it be, to market. Right? But at least you enjoy it. No, but thanks for sharing. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna check out that book and and to close it off, you know, our focus of, of, of our podcast is, you know, around um, young folks, right? Uh, millennials, Gen Z. And many of them are intrigued by the path of like writing. You know, what what would your advice be to them if if folks wanted to start out on their journey as, you know, sci fi authors or just writing in general, wh what would you say? I honestly, I don't think I'm in a position to to give that advice. I can't like you would, should never do what I did, right? <laughs> okay. Become a scientist, okay? Quit in a huff. Alienate your publishers. <laughs> get <laughs> get arrested at the border <laughs> and be threatened with jail. Um. Uh. Because modify your because, DNA because because yeah. that I'm, that's probably responsible for my Hugo right all yeah. of a sudden that the huge spike right then nearly die of flesh eating disease because that produced another spike like every time something horrible happened to me there'd be a spike in hits and then I'd win an award <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, it's uh, al you know I, I <sighs> everything I did was wrong right and i think the only take-home message you can you can take from that is that there are a million different writers out there there have to have been a million different trajectories to get there yeah if somebody tells you that you have to write every day or you're not a real writer it's bullshit if somebody tells you that you should just be grateful you're getting published, you know, and and never alienate your editor or your publisher or you'll never eat in this town again. Maybe 90% of that's true. 10% of the time it's bullshit. I yeah. broke every rule. Yeah. And I'm doing pretty well for a mid-list author. I've never written a bestseller, but I have never thought I would be, I never thought I would be doing okay, this okay as a, as I mean, an author, y you've been nominated for the Hugo. Award I won the Hugo, and you won the Hugo won, as well. Yeah, I've been nominated. Novel, yeah. I've been nominated. Okay, here's the the that the that beats any bestseller in my opinion I've, for sci-fi fans. Yeah. I don't know. Have you read all the Hugo winners? Some of them aren't that great. Uh, yes, I have. But I can <laughs> I can share some, but they might not like it. So, but uh, yeah, no, I've like I've won something like twenty awards in twelve different jurisdictions. I'm yeah. available in twenty one languages. I've been nominated for like over fifty awards. I've been in thirty different best of year collections. I've, I've done okay. I am financially comfortable. I'm not rich, but, but I'm more secure than somebody with my talent and my output has any right to expect. And so that, the only advice I could give is probably don't pay too much attention to other people's advice. Yeah. And also don't have kids. <laughs>